my Super Mario Advance walkthrough, also known as Super Mario Brothers 2, which is actually not the real Super Mario Brothers 2. It's it's actually a game called Doki Doki Panic from uh, Japan. Now you've got a choice of four characters here, as you can see. I always choose Toad. I like how fast he is because he picks up vegetables faster than all the other ones. And uh, when you pick up the vegetables slow, that just annoys me. So I use Toad a lot. <laughs> And I won't be using any warps, and I won't be getting any of the coins, and whoa, there's some clouds! This is different than the original, by the way. And, uh, hold the B button to run, A button to jump, uh, R button to pick up for the Game Boy Advance version, I believe. Uh, or wait, I guess I'll see in just a second when I pick up something. Oh, uh, I guess, wait, I guess, it, I guess it's the B button to pick up, too, okay. Ah! <laughs> Well, I guess that works for me. Okay, I haven't played this game in a while, but I, I am fairly decent at it, unlike other Mario games, which is why I picked this one to do after a while. I haven't done the walkthroughs Yeah, It's also a kind of short game, but it's pretty fun, too. Uh, this game deserves a lot more recognition than it does. It's considered the black sheep of the Mario, uh, Mario NES family, so to speak, because of the fact that it's different. Well, I like different. I don't know about you guys, but I like different. <laughs> Oh, and also, uh, I am just recovering from a cold, so my voice isn't all the way back up to par, but I've got my coughing pretty well under control, so I'm pretty happy with the results, so I think I'll be able to do this walkthrough just fine, or at least, you know, so far, if I just to play cool, take it easy, you know, not try and kill myself, you know. <laughs> And, uh, what did the R button do anyway? Why am I thinking that I even needed the R button? What is the... Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I guess the R button really isn't needed. I guess I'll remember what the R button does when the time comes. By the way, when you get uh, mushrooms like this, when you're in the other world, when you get those potions, it increases your life energy by one heart for the current level. So, yeah. It's definitely recommended that you, that, that you search out where those mushrooms are, but they aren't really necessary if you're a consistent player, which I'm hoping to be. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm also playing the Game Boy Advance for- ah, ah, well that actually worked out pretty well, it bounced me right up here. I'm playing the Game Boy Advance for version of the game because, um, it's got a little more features than the actual NES or SNES remake of the game on uh, Super Mario All-Stars for the SNES, so that's why I'm playing the remake of the game. Yeah! Oh yeah, also climb, climbing vines, press up. Oh, and, oh, I also forgot to show you this. Hold down until you flash, and then you'll do a super jump, and that makes you go ultra high. But of course, it takes a while to charge up, and uh, yeah. And here's Birdo! You remember Birdo, right? Just like the, uh, my <laughs> Super Mario, or normal Super Mario Brothers 2 <laughs> joke walkthrough. You pick up the eggs, you throw them back, and it takes three hits to kill it. And I'm pretty sure, uh, I think I can still do this, I can pick up the bowl. Uh, no, I can't! I thought you could pick up the bow on your head. Uh, I, I guess I'm mistaken, or at least in this version. You, but you should be able to pick up Birdo's bow off her head, which is kind of silly. Three hits, she throws this orb, you grab the orb, you go inside the eagle's mouth, which is kind of gross, actually. It's kind of saliva-y and sharp, too. Which, I don't know how you survive that, but whatever. And that, that. By the way, you can also pick up coins in that alternate world in that alternate world where you use that potion. But you gotta use the potions where there's uh, some plants that you can pick up. And now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hijack this uh, flying carpet dude right here. And yeah, because I need your flying carpet dude. Yes, I need it to cross this gap here. And I'll just grab this A coin. I don't know what these A coins stand for. I don't know. Maybe they're A hole coins or something. I don't know. <laughs> but most of these pots you can go inside and pick up stuff. Ooh, that was a nice one up there. Thank you for the one up, Toad. That was very nice. So I should I shouldn't say thank you, Toad, I should say thank you, Mushroom. Oh, I need this key, and look out for this mask. When you grab the key, that mask comes and attacks you. When you drop the key, the mask stops attacking you. You know, they kind of home in on you, so you gotta kind of throw the key and, you know, kind of juggle it all over the place to get through it. And there should be some bombs in here. Yeah, use the bombs, blow up the walls, just like so, yay. Watch out for the sniffets. No mucho shooting. <laughs> Shooting is bad for your health. Drop the bomb. And I should be able to sneak through this little gap here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Normally I'd have to bomb that twice. But when you're impatient like I am, I just skittle on through there. 
And the, where's, isn't there a potion? I thought there was a potion somewhere around here. Potion. Uh, I'd like to show you what the bonus games, the coins are. Uh, where am I thinking there's a potion there? Well, whatever. Let's just move on. <laughs> and through that door. Uh oh, here's Birdo again. And there's a heart, by the way. Oh, it's as far as you go. I don't think so. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I missed the egg there. I'm such an amateur. At least I'm not getting hit by the eggs. That would kind of suck. <laughs> and egg throw. Bye bye. Yeah. And uh, oh, I'm also not. Did I just say that I'm also not using any warps in this walkthrough? I want to show you guys all the stages of, stages of the game. So I'm not going to be using any warp um, warp faces or anything like that. So uh, yeah, no coins. So no slot machine. Sad. Very sad. And the next one, I'm using Toad again. I like Toad. <laughs> I like how he picks up things quickly. I, I, the most of my hits actually are when I get, uh, are when I pick up things too slow. That's why I pick Toad because uh, I have trouble uh, with characters that pick up things too slow. And Peach, she's the worst for me. Even though she's got a nice floaty jump thing, but uh, oh no! <laughs> I should have kind of jumped to where I thought it was safe, but whatever, I'll just redo that. <laughs> but yeah, Peach, she screws me up pretty good. <laughs> oh shoot, maybe I should have grabbed a heart or something like that. Oh, oh what am I doing? <laughs> now I'm just screwing up all over the place. I'm just rushing through and I shouldn't be rushing through. Let's see if there's a heart. There is a heart, okay. Hearts give you energy and energy makes you big. Makes you a nice, big, strong toad. And whoa, that's a big combo right there. And I could have used that before I died twice. Yay! <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's just jump across carefully. Okay, man. Hopefully there's something safe over here. Okay. <laughs> Do not want to die. Don't die, PKM. You're, ow, you're too young to die. <laughs> You're just a little toad. Is there a potion around here somewhere? A heart? Oh, I know there's some stuff that's waiting to kill me. And, oh, this is a warp base. If you bring that potion over here and go down that base, you'll go into a warp pipe and you'll go to like world 4 or something like that. But as I said, I'm not using any warps, so... Oh, don't jump off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want to show you all the stages because I like this game. Despite it being the black sheep, but... <laughs> on the Mario series, yeah. Can I go up with just one? 